डियर फ्रेंड्स मीटिंग अगेन टूडे विद द सेम टॉपिक ऑफ ऑर्गेन ऑफ मेडिसिन एंड वी हैव टू लर्न द सिक्स एडिशन ऑफ ऑर्गेन ऑफ मेडिसिन वी हैव स्टार्टेड स्टडी विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ऑर्गेन ऑफ मेडिसिन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द डेफिनेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द व्हाट इज होम्योपैथी वी हैव डिफाइंड होम्योपैथी it is a medical science which is based upon law of similars which states that a drug capable of producing in a healthy individual a disease state exactly similar to that happens in a diseased individual acts as a curative agent if the disease is in a curable state and this disease we have understood in yesterday's lecture what do you mean by state what exactly mean by the logic the definition of a logic a method of a logic is nothing but a scientific reason and the inductive and deductive method of reasoning as explained by lord bacon and followed by followed throughout his life by anyone that's the all those introductory concepts which we have learned in last lecture we have started with the definition of organon also we have learned that organon is nothing but a method of scientific investigation and we have reached what is science also so science is nothing but a method when repeated experimentation found to produce the same results again and again the experiment is called to be a scientific and then we have reached to the six editions of organ of medicine that also we have learned in yesterday's lecture right starting from the 1805 the medicine of experience called as a forerunner to the organ of medicine followed by the six editions which has started from 1810 to 1842 so first edition 1810 which contains to 58 aphorisms the second edition published in 1819 it contains to 358 aphorisms the third edition it came into existence in 1824 containing 320 aphorisms then <clears throat> then the 1833 the 1829 the fourth edition came into the existence and fourth edition has a different aspect it has included causes of chronic diseases and thereafter we have introduced uh, we have learned the 1833 edition the fifth edition and where hanuman came to the consist consideration of dynamic doses and dynamic existence of the human being and he has introduced the concept of vital force in the fifth edition and thereafter in the sixth edition which was ready for publication in 1842 which is with us but which was not which was not published at that time but which got published by his second wife in 1921 the sixth and most perfect edition of the all the editions which hanuman have hanuman developed or hanuman have introduced to the uh, public but we have to understand what exactly the difference between fifth and sixth edition of organ of medicine is there and for that purpose it is necessary to read each and every sentence whatever is given in the book so this is in short what we have learned in yesterday's lecture let us go ahead with the So book open your book and open the first page we have learned what is odes appear that also we have learned in yesterday's lecture now we have to reach to the translator's preface so translator preface open your books and read by sentence by sentence this is too important so that we can understand what exactly the boric wants to discuss with us and this is too important unless and until we read the preface of the book one should not read the book because what exactly the author the um, translator wants to explain that has been written in their preface and that's why all the prefaces are very much necessary before starting or before starting the reading the text so translator's preface what he says the sixth edition of organon as left by hanuman ready for publication was found to be interlude copy of the fifth the last german edition published in 1833 in his six, in his 60 86 year while in active practice in paris he completed the thorough revision of it by carefully going over paragraph by paragraph making changes erasures annotations and addition so what he is explaining over there 
he is explaining that 86 years he was working for the homeopathy and when when in last 10 years of his life he was working with the fifth edition and finding it out what are the changes to make he has made lot of changes in between fifth and sixth edition some have, some have been removed he has used the erasers work erasers mean some concepts which were wrong enough he has removed them and what what he has done annotations there are some some points which are added over there then something which he has made the criticism that is a thing and some additions have been done in this so this is the this is what ready for publication in 18, 1842 42 and this was the hanuman's last work hanuman himself has apprised apprised manje maahiti dena hanuman himself had apprised several friends of the preparation of another edition of his great work as is evident among others from letter to boning hussein his most approach appreciative follower and intimate friend so boning hussein was very in very close contact with hanuman and he was the best student of the hanuman he has written a letter to the boning hussein and he said that i am working for this sixth edition and i am making lot of changes what he has said to the boning hussein let us listen boning hussein his most appreciative appreciative follower and intimate friend writing to him from paris he states i am at work on the sixth edition of organon to which i devote several hours on sundays and thursdays see what he says i am devoting two days for the preparation of the sixth edition thursdays and sundays all the other time being required for the treatment of the patients who come to my rooms and the rest of the days which are necessary for the purpose of treatments of the patient rest of the days i could not get a time so i have make made it fixed that on thursday and on sunday only i will going to work for this edition then what he says and to his publisher mr squab in dusseldorf he wrote in a letter dated paris february 20 1842 i have now after 18 months of work finished the sixth edition of my organon the most nearly perfect of all what he is saying most nearly perfect he is not saying it is perfect the person who has written a book right from first edition to the sixth edition and in sixth edition he is say, saying that nearly perfect but he has not used perfect only this is very important because he was experimenting and that is the path which he has developed for us one should go with that path one should go and enter into that path doing the experimentation and come reach to the more and more truth Sixth edition is the biggest truth out of six editions, so it it is the best one which Hanuman have given. But what we have done, whether we have gone for seven, eight, nine, ten, two, no, no one have gone. Only the Hanuman, whatever he has done in sixth edition, that is there with us, and we follow him as a god. But we we have not developed our path, which is followed by him, or which has been developed by him. What he says, most per nearly perfect of all. he further expressed the wish to have it printed in the best possible style as regards what he says he further expressed the wish to have it printed in the best possible style as regards paper perfectly new type and in a short desired its appearance to be unexceptionally fine as it would most likely be the last when when he has written he has written in 20, on 20th february 1842 and what he is saying most probably this is the last so something was there in his mind he was knowing that the end is there his end is going to happen and that's why the words came from his mouth that this is the most probably the last one to be get published and that's why it should be best enough for the publication best possible style it should be written the paper should be used proper way then what he is say it it should be in a brief manner so so that anyone can read it and everyone should follow it and that's why he has mentioned each and every detail 
वॉट इज इज दीज विशेष ऑफ व्हेनेरेबल व्हेनेरेबल म्हणजे वंदनीय ज्याचं वंदन करावं तितकं कमी आहे हॅनेमनला म्हटलेला शब्द आहे बोरिकने दीज विशेष ऑफ द व्हेनेरेबल ऑथर हु हॅव बीन कॅरीड आउट परफेक्टली बाय द प्रेझेंट पब्लिशर सो इट वॉज नॉट पब्लिश्ड बाय स्क्वाब देर वॉज नो पब्लिकेशन पब्लिशर फॉर हिम सो अल्टिमेटली इट वॉज नॉट पब्लिश ड्युरिंग हॅनेमनियन लाईफ इट वॉज देअर it was survived best word which we can use is it it survived and ultimately published by hanuman second wife in 1920 but this was the best edition which hanuman have ever done all these annotations changes and additions i have carefully translated from the original copy in my possession what is it whatever is hanuman have written in the text of organa that is from aphorism number 1 to aphorism number 291 these things borik has translated he has not translated the introduction which is there in this book and that he himself explains what he says hanuman made these in the in his own wonderfully small clear handwriting perfectly preserved during all these years and as legible what is saying as legible legible manje spasht as legible today as when first written so it was written with hanuman's own handwriting that copy was there with the borik for those extensive parts in which he made no changes whatever including his long introduction i have adopted dr dujan's fine translation of the fifth edition which has the distinction of a perfect english with remarkable faithful adherence to the peculiar hanuman in style and setting what he says the introduction which is there in this book is not translated by me it is not written for the sixth edition it was written for fifth edition and which was already translated by dr dujan in a perfect english and that was taken as it is in this book so it is not a thing which is translated here for the students there is a one mcq who has translated the introduction in the sixth edition of organ of medicine the answer is dr dujan not william borik keep it in your mind those who are students and exam going for them this answer should be clear enough at now from this paragraph onwards let us see the following are some of the more important changes noted in the final edition and there is always a question in the question paper what is organon of medicine describe different editions of organon of medicine and differentiate between fifth and sixth edition of organ of medicine that difference between fifth and sixth edition of organ of medicine here he starts and all those differences we have to read we have to understand we have to open the aphorism and we have to find it out and those should be written in your notes those should be very clear in your mind so that your answer should be very correct what he says the following are some of the more important changes noted in the final this final edition in a long footnote to paragraph 11 he says he gives consideration of important question what is dynamic influence dynamics and in paragraphs 22 and 29 will be found his last views on the life principle which term he uses throughout preferably to the vital force in the former edition now open your book and open the paragraph 11 just open aphorism 11 okay page number 99 there is one footnote to this paragraph and it is a big footnote and this big footnote is newly added in this sixth edition footnote number 7 paragraph 11 footnote number 7 and you just see what is dynamic influence what he has written what is dynamic influence and dynamic power and detailed explanation of this question animal have made and it is it was needed at that time because in the fifth edition he has introduced the concepts of dynamic in the fifth first time he has introduced the concept of vital force which was new for the medical world it was not there before that everyone was considering everyone was considering the 
uh, human being only from material aspects everyone was considering the human being from material aspects but he was the first one who has explained the dynamic existence of human being and in the 1833 he came to the con conclusion of uh, he came to the conclusion of vital force but that word was not very correct hanuman himself understood this is wrong because behind the force there is some energy which should be applied and if energy is there behind that energy something there with, with which the it works and that's why hanuman have changed his thought he came he reached from vital force to the vital energy and from vital energy he has reached to its source that is vital principle or a life principle so the thought was changed from vital force in the fifth edition to the vital energy and life for life principle in the last sixth edition of origin of medicine and this was the change which you can find it out in the aphorism number 20 29 22 and 29 open your books and open the aphorism 22 and 29 29 you can find it out there the word life principle he has used instead of a vital force see aphorism 29 what he says at as every disease not entirely surgical consists only in a special morbid dynamic alteration of a vital energy of the principle of life see the words he has changed in earlier edition he has explained it vital force now he is he has changed and what he is saying vital energy of the principle of life and this is something which was new thought introduced by hanuman and the, which was not a thought which was the reality which hanuman had explained in over there so this is this is too important so first difference is the in the footnote is newly added to the paragraph 11 that is footnote number 7 in 6th edition which was not there in 5th edition second change is instead of vital force he has used ten, two words vital energy of a life principle that is a another word which he has used so this is second you write over there on your book first what is dynamic influence that is the first change then paragraphs 20 to 20 29 number 2 like instead of vital force life principle or vital energy then third one now paragraphs 52 to 56 have been wholly rewritten kay matle baka paragraphs 52 to 56 have been wholly rewritten and long footnotes are added to the paragraph 62 to 74 now open your book open the aphorism 52 and write over there on the aphorism number 52 on your book that 52 to 56 are newly added in the 6th edition of organ of medicine open your book and write over there so that it remains in your mind when you read the aphorism wholly rewritten in 6th edition 52 to 56 okay is it okay have you written it on 52 aphorism 52 to 56 wholly rewritten now we'll turn to the aphorism number 60 to 70 64 to 72 and you find it out there are many many there are many footnotes are added from aphorism number 60 all footnotes are big footnotes aphorism is very small but footnote is very big and all those footnotes are completely new in the 6th edition of organ of medicine so on the page number 142 45 aphorism number 60 there is one footnote that footnote over that footnote right over there in bracket from aphorism 60 to 72 74 footnotes newly added in 6th edition of organ of medicine so this is the fourth change which you can find it out over there between fifth and sixth edition of organ of medicine so first is in paragraph 11 footnote is newly added second is life vital force to vital energy and life principle number 3 paragraph 52 to 56 rewritten then paragraph 60 to 74 there are footnotes to those paragraphs are totally new and now he turns 
again paragraph 148 is practically wholly new and concerns itself with the origin of disease denying the materia pecans as the prime etiological factor open aphorism 48 148 sorry not 48 148 open the 148 what he has saying in 148 he has explained to start with the aphorism he has explained what he says over there 148 cha varti lihun teva wholly new 6th edition and what he says over there the first sentence of this paragraph is bigger sentence but that defines what exactly was there in hanuman's mind what we will read that 148 aphorism the nature natural disease is never to be considered as a noxious material situated somewhere within the interior or exterior of man but as one produced by an inimical spirit like conceptual agency which like a kind of infection disturbs its in its instinctive existence of spirit like conceptual principle of life within the organism torturing it as an evil spirit and compelling it to produce certain elements and disorders in the regular course of life these are known as symptoms see what he is explaining over here he said there is no material cause he he totally disagree with material cause what he is explaining over there diseases are not produced because of something material but it has been produced by inimical spirit like conceptual agency many students many homeopaths never understands what exactly mean by it inimical conceptual spirit like agency what exactly it mean inimical means what do you mean by inimical anyone who can explain over there regarding the inimical so it's harmful to the body hmm harmful to the body okay inimical means not um, agree with you the things which are not agree with your own mind there are many things in your life which disagree you which you don't like see everything becomes inimical for you if for example you don't have to attend today's lecture and you have to attend it by any means by some compulsion it becomes inimical for you if you want to go somewhere and someone is not allowing you to go it is again inimical which is troubling you which are which is disturbing you is inimical so what he says dynamic inimical spiritual conceptual agency so it is not something material which should enter and then produce the disease before that this conceptual energy disturbs your mind disturbs your life force disturbs your principle of life and once it is disturbed then any disease can be developed it express in the form of signs and symptoms so unless and until you are diseased at that level nothing disturbs you and that disturbance is only because of the these inimical things and this here he differs from the earlier thought in fifth edition he was explaining that there might be a material cause as well as dynamic cause in sixth edition he denies the material cause of the disease and here directly he says it is only the dynamic spiritual inimical conceptual agency and this we have to understand when we will reach to the 148 aphorism we will learn it by heart at that time i will going to explain all those details which are the things which affect to your mind which affects to your internal spirits and produces the disease so um, this is another difference that is the 148 aphorism is totally new in this sixth edition now the now next paragraph what he says of greatest importance are the paragraphs 246 to 248 in regard to doses in the treatment of chronic diseases open the 246 to 248 246 to 248 these aphorisms are absolutely different from the fifth edition in the fifth edition he explained giving a single simple dose and not repeating it that was his concept he was prescribing medicine with a single dose but in this 
sixth edition of organ of medicine he has changed his thought he has started he has explained one new aspect even in chronic diseases he explains that when you are prescribing for chronic diseases you go for plussing technique and that technique of plussing the energy in the medicine that he explained in 246 to 248 and instead of given what we used to do we generally used to do after the 30th potency we reach to 200 after 200 we reach to 1m but in between potencies are not available with us then how to go ahead that concept he has made and that is what is called as a plusing technique so instead of going directly to the 200 he explained that give the medicine with 30 and ask the patient to prepare 30 31 32 33 34 35 so that there will be no strong aggravation which can happen after changing potency from 30 to 200 directly and this is something new and here he differs from his original concept in the original fifth edition he explained that give the single dose and here he explains no repeat it even in sixth even in um, chronic disease and this is the difference between fifth and sixth edition of organ of medicine second important thing in this sixth edition he has introduced new scale earlier hanuman have introduced only one scale that is decimal scale in the sixth edition of organ of medicine he came out with the lm scale or which is also called as 50 millisimol scale the most mild potency in our homeopathy is the 50 millisimol scale which you can repeat a lot without causing any damage without causing any pathology without causing any harm to the patient and that there he, he was very confident while prescribing uh, remedy in the in this specific form so this is new thing which he has added we'll finish one more over there he there departs from the single dose and advises repetition of the dose but in different potency and what he says give it in a different potency if you are using the lm scale go for lm1 lm2 lm3 lm4 lm5 so should not you should not remain on one potency over there when you are repeating it paragraphs 269 and 270 are devoted to the technical directions for the preparation of homeopathic medicines especially according to the latest views add this again this is this is the another difference 269 to 272 and this is absolutely new in the 6th edition where he has introduced the 50 millisimol scale this is too important 50 millisimol scale was introduced in the 6th edition and most important potency in day to day practice is now 50 millisimol scale when you will become homeopath or if you are a homeopath and if you are practicing with the pathological cases my suggestion is that always should have you should have the lm scale or 50 millisimol scale potency which you can use safely in the cancerous cases you can use it in a um, deep pathologies like liver cirrhosis or sometimes even heart pathologies like the heart failure where there is no chance of aggravation because of centesimal scale you can repeat in it in a better manner with the help of 50 millisimol scale so one must learn using the lm scale and lm scale is the best scale to be utilized in practice if you want to do deal with the pathologies in my practice now i am dealing with more and more pathology nowadays there are many cancer cases nowadays there are many uh, liver cirrhosis diabetes then a vascular necrosis duchenne muscular dystrophy is other muscular dystrophy even paralysis even yesterday i have treated one case of acute angina all those pathologies are coming and these pathologies when you have to deal you must have your with you the lm scale and this was the new in this last sixth edition and it was the wonderful thing which hanuman have developed so that we can confidently repeat the medicine when you use the centesimal there is always a fear in my our mind whether it causes the homeopathic aggravation but that is not there with the help of 50 millisimol scale so those who are practitioners my suggestion to all of you go with the 50 millisimol scale if you have any doubts do ask me so that we can discuss during those uh, discussions 
it will be daily and it will be a live and second important thing it will there will be a um, question and answers also it is not just organ and it should be a practical organ we have to learn both the things we have to learn the theory at the same time apply it in our practice and this is what i want to teach you so uh, we'll stop over here we'll read the further differences in tomorrow's session.